Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Mint Mini by Paquetto. It plays one to four players, takes roughly 20 to 30 minutes to play, and is for ages 10 and up. And in the game Mint Mini, you are going to be playing, well, another Mint game in the Mint universe. There's been five other games, Mint Bid, Mint Delivery, Mint Works, Mint Cooperative, and Mint uh, Control. And this one here is going to tie all of them together in mini games. Yes, you're going to be playing all of those games, but just portions of them, which all work in tandem with one another to create points, which you will score at the end of the game. Each player is going to gather five mints, set up the board here, and begin rolling dice based on the number of players, selecting a die in turn order, and then utilizing that die based on the space to play a mini game from one of the five different mint games. The sixth one, being Mint Mini, is a wild where you can choose any of them. And then you'll do whatever the cards says, either maybe bidding on specific locations, or whether it be a pickup delivery aspect of the mint delivery, mint control by placing your little tokens on the cards here, mint cooperative, which means you'll have to work together to a certain extent to defeat villains and gain heroic feats, and then of course mint works, placing your tokens down to gather specific rewards that will benefit you for certain areas on the board. The game is going to end after uh, either the villains take over the town, because each upkeep villains are going to do damage to the town, or if some player is going to be able to make this marker go to 10. So after the 10th round, the game will trigger an ending as well. And how do you win? Pretty simple. Just like most of the games, whoever has the most victory points is the winner in front of them or on the board here. Add them all up and total the score to see if you win Mint Mini. Okay, let's go ahead and explain the setup. The setup for the game is actually very simple. You'll take the two yellow cards and set them up at the top here and place a white mint on each of the specific locations indicated. The first one being the round tracker, place it on one. The second one is going to be based on what villains you're fighting. You're going to shuffle the villains, pick two of them and flip one of them up and then that villain will detail which number the white mint goes on. So in this case, I'm fighting Gingivitis, so I'm gonna place it on the four because Gingivitis has four panic. Then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of the villains. You won't be utilizing them, just two per game. Shuffle the heroic feats and place it next to the villains. Then go ahead and place out your mint control marker on the top left-hand side, as well as three of the mint control locations. You won't be using any of the other ones. They're gonna be for replayability. Then place your Mint Mini down, which is your wild space. Place Mint Cooperative right next to it, followed by Mint Delivery in the bottom left, and then Mint Works in the bottom middle. The last one being Mint Bid. Shuffle the Mint Delivery and Mint Bid cards, and then deal out three on each side so that each of the different locations will have three unique things that you can either try and pick up and deliver or locations to build, which will give, enable you in getting points as, as well as special abilities. Based on the number of players that you're playing with, you will take four dice and give each of those players five mints of their color. The rest of the mints will be set aside in a pool that you can utilize as your supply. You get your own individual supplies. If you're playing with less players, separate one color, two, or three colors, depending on the number of players that you are playing with. Then choose a start player with your little start player token and begin the game by having that player roll all the dice based on the number of players. Pretty simple, right? Okay. Now, gameplay. So like described before, gameplay is rather simple as well. You're going to be first on your first turn, leaving the marker on round one and the panic tracker on, around, on the number based on the character that you are fighting against. And that is your upkeep. So basically skip your upkeep the first time. Then take the number of dice associated with the number of players and roll them. Once you roll them, select one of the dice and give it to yourself. And then each player in turn order will take one as well. These die represent the cards in the game, which are the mini games that you're going to be involved in and you're going to be utilizing them. And I'll just go over the different ones here instead of actually showing you a turn so you can understand all of them. Uh, first one is Mint Control. You're basically going to be placing one of your tokens on one of the locations. Whoever has the most or the control of the location is going to get the ability. And at the end of the game, if you have the most uh, tokens on the card, you'll also get the stars, which is what you're going for in the game. Most stars is the winner. And of course, you can also choose to add a mint to a location, which is what I explained, or you can spend a mint to remove a mint from a location. 
The Mint Mini is a wild. If you get this, which is a two, you can simply do whatever you want. Choose one of these guys and do it. The next one here is Mint Cooperative. You'll simply place a token on the Mint Cooperative space there. And once they fill up, each player that is here to defeat the bad guy will defeat the bad guy. And in addition, we'll get to draw heroic feats. If you have the most tokens on this board here, you're going to draw two of them and choose one. Over here is Mint Delivery. You'll be able to select any number of mints that you would like, place them on your truck, and then the next time you visit the mint delivery location, you can remove those mints to your supply and select a mint delivery truck that you will score points for. These are instant points provided that you have the mints for them. Three mints. This one has three. You can take it and put it into your, uh, into your supply. The next one is Mint Works. You can place one of your mints in any of the five locations. Uh, there are different options here, whether it be placing one to gain three mints from your supply. Uh, one over here is you can replace a mint uh, from Mint Works, like you can take one off and put a different one on. Over here is the Builder, which lets you build one of your plans, which are from Mint Bid. You can draw or uh, oust a the little mint uh, from a control area for free. So just like this one here, you can kind of oust, removing guys pieces off of the board here. Uh, then of course you have the deliver your mints on your mint truck. So it's basically like going to this space for the second time after you already have mints on there. The last thing to note about this space here is once the recycler, remover, and supplier have been filled, you'll actually remove all of the mints and put them back into the player's supplies. And then the final one here is Mint Bid. This one you can choose to do an open or closed auction. And the player who is the one who goes here will start the bid. And if you're doing a closed bid, everybody secretly chooses a bid and places it down and we reveal and whoever has the most wins one of these three. Or if you're doing the open one, then you'll be able to say, I want this one and I'll start with one. Oh, I'll start with two. Oh, I'll go with three. And then whoever has the most is the winner takes this, sets it face down, and doesn't build it until they either go to the Mint Works area, which lets them build a building plan, or maybe a specific control area that lets them build it, thusly flipping it over and having that ability throughout the entire game. Once a player selects the space and goes there and everybody else does the same thing, that will trigger the end of the round, which will then move this marker to the second location. The villain that is here is going to include their panic to the town, and then the next player in turn order will get the starting player token. They will roll the dice, assign their own choice of die to themselves, and each player will get to do the same thing as well, and play will continue to proceed in that manner. The game ends when the marker on the white reaches 21, or if the uh, little round marker goes all the way to round 10, finish that round up and then score points. Whoever has the most stars from the control area, from the mint delivery area, and the mint bid area, as well as maybe some heroic feats, and cumulative, like whoever has the most in total, is the winner of the game Mint Mini. Okay, that's basically the game. In the Mint universe, each of the games represents a unique mechanic to modern gaming. Mint control is all about placing pieces down and trying to collect specific areas to score points at the end of the game. Mint delivery is picking up things and bringing them back to score stars. Mint works is all about gathering plans, spending the resources needed to build them, and ensuring that you have the most points at the end of the game. Cooperative, working together to defeat many bad guys that all have like nasty teeth things. We have ginger and vitus and nicotine and uh, Sir Halitosis. <laughs> and you're trying to uh, beat the clock out, as you would say. And then mint bid is all about open or closed bidding where you're attempting to try and like, how much do you want to bid to get the specific location? And then um, utilizing those spaces to score points. Uh, this one here is a conglomerate of all five of those games mixed with a wild space, allowing you to choose what you'd like to do. And they all kind of work together in some ways, uh, with the exception of Mint Cooperative and uh uh, maybe mint delivery to an extent as well. Uh, there are certain things that will work with them, but they kind of are on their own little separate level. Uh, and you're basically trying to gather the specific stars from each of the different locations. Do you want to try and work together to get heroic feats, which some will be better than others, so it's more of a risk. But also, if you don't deal with the specific villains, then this tracker is going to move up, thusly ending the game a lot earlier than you might anticipate. Some of these guys here are rather difficult to beat. Well, basically, they reduce the game mode to a lot uh, speedier if you do not have pieces go onto the specific location, which works well in a larger player game. But in a two player game specifically, I would probably take out the bigger guy because it just ends the game so quickly, especially if you don't roll the dice that you need in order to go to this location or even block maybe a spot off. That would probably be my house rule for a two player game. 
the control aspect, I have to kind of review these all individually because they're all their own unique little mini games. <laughs> the control aspect works just like mint control. It felt really good placing down the pieces, gathering specific spaces, and utilizing them to do certain things on the other mini games. And the mint delivery portion, very, very straightforward. It's the most simplistic term of mint delivery that you could probably get. Uh, you place down the mints that you want to utilize to get the plans that you need. If you want a three plan, you spend three mints, and the next time you reach the space, you can gather a three mint card. Uh, then you have the mint works. This one kind of works in tandem with all of these guys in a certain way. It lets you get additional mints. It's going to let you replace a mint from the specific location if you need to. Uh, you can build a plan. You can basically uh, uh, move your truck along. And of course, you can also oust from mint control. So it works with all these guys here, just not really the cooperative one, which I, I enjoyed this one as well. I like the fact that these guys work with each other uh, so that you can kind of utilize one mini game to help you progress in another mini game. The mint bid here is very straightforward as well. You have your mints, you're going to bid, you'll choose open or closed, typically I like open. Um, there, there's one special card in the mint control that if you have control of that, as long as you bid just one mint, you can win. And there's certain ways to get around that by being the first bidder to prevent that player from just instantly getting a freebie here. But it makes that space very powerful for them to choose because they're gonna get these guys. But remember, they have to also build them. It's like they have to also deliver these guys in order to score points because if they don't do so, it's just a bunch of mints sitting around not being utilized or a bunch of cards sitting around that haven't been actually flipped over. But this game has a lot going for it. There's a whole bunch of different choices and variety in the game that you'll be making. Now, of course, because it's a mini game of a game that's kind of a mini game in itself, you're only gonna get little pieces of each of the specific games. So if there's one specific one that you enjoy playing, then that's probably one you wanna pick up over getting this game here. If you only like maybe control games or bidding games, probably pick one of those guys. But if you like the idea of a bunch of little mini games attached into a small box game with a beautiful board presence, this one is definitely one I would check out. There is a few little qualms I have with it, specifically involving Mint Cooperative and how many spaces you need for a certain number of players. In a larger player game, it's not really an issue, but when you're playing with a lesser number of players, the spaces on here, I'd actually like a back that only has two spaces for a two player game. Um, and of course, Mint Delivery is just kind of minor. You place your pieces down and then you can take them off or utilize the mint works which will then allow you to build the truck and you get the points here. I like how these ones here specifically all work together with each other a, a lot more and utilize the spaces and I would also like to see maybe even additional mints that you can gain throughout the game. Um, overall though it's a lot of fun. I like in mini games. I like games that kind of put games that work together with other games. I think this reminds me of a lot of like Johnny Pat Canton style games where he's got a bunch of little extra things that kind of attach into a game that makes itself a whole game which is a lot of fun and also because it has so many options and there is some variety as well I really really do enjoy playing this game with a large number of players uh, that being said I would probably also like to see maybe additional different types of orders the fact that there's multiples of the same one doesn't make a whole lot of sense because there is uh, like I don't know, there's like 10 specific cards I think this one here in the mint bid does that well but of course the mint delivery has a uh, more limited amount of options but I guess it's just, I'm just kind of nitpicking here. And overall, all the Mint series games are a lot of fun. These guys are all gonna be added to my collection. I've been kind of like a collector of sorts for these type of games here. And uh, this one would be no exception to that because this would be a good way, especially to get players to try out the Mint Tin games, uh, show them what each one is kind of like, and then allow them to decide what game they wanna play next based on what they've already played here. So it's kind of like a slice of life from each of the different games in a beautiful table presence with, that all work in tandem with each other. Oh, Overall, a solid, fun game, Mint Mini. If you want to pick it up, it's down below. Link in the description where you can, of course, buy it on Kickstarter. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Mint Mini by Paquetta. If you're interested, like I said before, there is a link down below in the description. You can also go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button. It does greatly help us out. And we will send you a Ferrari. We won't, but we, I mean, I, I appreciate it if you still subscribed anyway. Um, you can check out the website too, unfilteredgamer.com. We have blog posts, we have giveaways, we have Kickstarter lists, all kinds of different things there. And um, we're making new content as we go along. We're going to be doing a podcast pretty soon here. And if you want to watch a live stream of games just like this one, and in fact, this week we'll probably play this one on our live stream uh, to boost the campaign because we really like the... Uh, 
all the guys from Paquetto, and all of these games have been a lot of fun. Uh, and it's also good to see a game be played live to make your final decision making if it's something that's right for you based on maybe the way people interact or the way the game works. So this Sunday, we'll pop it up as well. And of course, you can also go ahead and Patreon us one buck a month. Helps us do our live streams, helps us keep making content. It's, uh, it pays for shipping. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you, patrons, very much. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to playing some mini games in the Mint universe with you next time.